Good morning, booktube. My name is Shannon, and I don't usually vlog, but I'm in the mood today, so I thought I would vlog day four of the booktube a -thon. I am currently watching Hannah from A Clockwork Reader's day three update, and um, she's about to do a scene from Carry On, and I paused it because I want to give it my full attention. Yeah, I'm just gonna get myself some breakfast and a cup of tea, and then I think I am going to try and finish reading Because You Love to Hate Me and then go outside and see how long I last out there because it's pretty freaking hot. Where I live, it gets to like 100 degrees daily in the summer and it has been every day. So we'll see how that goes. Also, today's challenge is to, the video challenge is to cosplay as any character from a book and I have chosen Triss from Divergent. If you couldn't tell, I'm dressed in all black and it feels a little weird. But you know, I am still working on getting ready obviously so I'm going to um, try and attempt to draw Triss's tattoos and um, we'll see how that goes because I can't draw in the first place, let alone on my own body. I used to have a temporary tattoo of her tattoos, but I used it for the Elysian <laughs> premiere, I think. And so now I'm like, I have to draw this freehand. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I think I am going to finish Hannah's video and eat breakfast, so I will update you after I have probably read a little after breakfast. Can we just talk about my daily war with this cupboard? Ugh, it is such a struggle just trying to get this measuring cup out for oatmeal. Ugh, why? Also, Hannah's scene that she did for day three was so hilarious. It was from Carry On, which is one of my favorite books of all time, and I absolutely loved it. Breakfast time with Naya Reads and Smiles, who is a great inspiration if you need someone to inspire you to keep reading. <laughs> this is booktube -a Inception. I was watching her eat breakfast. One second. So I was watching Naya eat breakfast as I'm eating breakfast and watching her watch other people's vlogs while I watch her booktube a vlog. What is happening? This is getting real confusing. Okay guys, so when I said that I was going to jump straight into reading after breakfast, I must have forgotten that I need to fill out a job application first because I am working on getting a job. Obviously, I don't have a huge audience here on YouTube, so this is not my job at the moment. Um, it's just a fun hobby, but I do need to fill out this job application before I continue reading Because You Love to Hate Me. But this shouldn't take too long. I kind of know how I want to fill this out, and I'm just going to put the best responses that I can to each of the job application questions and then I'm going to look over it with my family later. My mom and my sister are going to help me and yeah so first I'm going to do that and then I will continue reading. Okay guys so I've finished filling out that application and now it is 12.17. I'm going to do my hair and makeup for this cosplay and I think I might go to the library so that I can focus more on reading and just like sit and read and it'll be pretty interesting because I'll be dressed as Triss. Um, but yeah. So I'm about to edit the cosplay video, which is the video challenge for today. And we will see how that goes. Um, I'm going to edit as quickly as I can because I haven't gotten any reading done yet today and it's 1.39, but because of how slowly my videos upload, I'm going to have to edit this first so that it can be uploading while I read. So I just filmed and edited my challenge video for the day. It will be up by the time you're watching this vlog. And I cosplayed as Triss, obviously, by what I look like. Um, and I'm 
I'm super excited with how it turned out. It's producing and then I'm going to upload it and read while it uploads. And we're off! It's finally uploading. <laughs> so I am finally sitting down to read. I have cute little Sammy over here. <laughs> and yeah, I'm finally gonna hopefully finish this book. It's day four and I haven't finished one book. It's really a problem. We only have three days left of this readathon and I haven't finished one book. So I'm going to read for like the rest of the afternoon. It's three o'clock. Hopefully I can just sit and read and get maybe three books read. That's my goal. Finish this one and read two others, but we'll see if that happens. <laughs> so I read another story in Because You Love to Hate Me and it was really good. And now I am taking a tiny little break to eat lunch. I actually might even read while I eat, but then I will be going straight back into reading. I may go to the library. I haven't decided for sure whether I'm gonna go or not. I've got my no chicken noodle soup and my book. And now I'm going to eat lunch. Can we just talk about Marissa Meyer? I just read her story in Zoe's little thing that she wrote and like, whoa. I, I just, I don't have words. I love her so much and she's such an amazing writer and every book that she's published has been amazing and the story, I had high expectations and it fulfilled them. So, wow. I just, <laughs> I can't get over it, but I need to so that I can read the next story. <laughs> so I already ate two pieces because I was hungry, but this is my dinner. <laughs> I've read about three more stories, I think, maybe four in Because You Love to Hate Me. I'm really trying to finish it, but now it seems like a huge book and it didn't seem like that at the beginning, but I'm getting there and enjoying it very much. So I just finished eating dinner and now I am going to try and finish Because You Love to Hate Me. I am loving this book and I don't know why it's taking me so long to read it, but I will finish it tonight and then I'm going to watch Frozen because I need a break from reading <laughs> and I've wanted to watch Frozen for the past few days with my, what do I call you, McCoy? Sister-in-law. Yeah, <laughs> future sister-in-law, but I'm going to watch Frozen and then pick up a short book and read that tonight. I am gonna read another book. I said I was gonna read two more, it's just not gonna happen, but I will read one more. Um, I just read Victoria Schwab's story. And I have, what? No, what? Oh my goodness. This book is amazing. I need to continue. Ah, uh, Jesse. What have you done to me? <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm on the very last story of this book. I'm gonna finish it. It's 8.53 and I'm on the very last story. Oh, I'm not ready to be done, but I am at the same time because this has taken way too long to read. Oh, I did it. I finished book one and everyone's laughing because my dad did not understand that I was about to vlog, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Whatever. Um, well, I just finished Because You Love to Hate Me, and it was really good. I enjoyed all of the stories so much, and I'm about to mark it off on Goodreads, and then watch Frozen, because I am so tired, and my eyes are tired from reading, and I need a break. So we're gonna watch Frozen, and then I will start another short book and read it really quickly. It is 9.53 p.m. I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, my video challenge for today is just barely almost up. And so it will barely be up in time because where I live, it's 10 o'clock instead of midnight that it needs to be in by. But it will work. And yeah, I finished Because You Love to Hate Me, like I said. And now I am going to look for something shorter in my TBR. I think I'll read the Fantastic Beasts screenplay because that seems like the fastest to fly through. So I'm going to read that now. 
and take a bath so I'll read it in there and I think I'm gonna watch um oh my gosh I'm so tired I can't remember names I'm gonna watch Naya's vlog from today um because I noticed it went up when I was looking to see if my video was gonna work and I will watch that for a break and then I will read Fantastic Beasts and then I will get some sleep because I'm exhausted. <laughs> Sorry to film another clip from my phone, but I left my camera downstairs. Anyway, I am 60 pages into Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the screenplay. It's 11.35. I probably won't finish before midnight, but I'll finish it in a decent amount of time tonight and then I will go to sleep. But I realized I forgot to say that I didn't end up watching Frozen with my family because they um, had to get home and go to bed. And then I also didn't go to the library. <laughs> so yeah, um, but yeah, I've had a really nice day. I've read a lot and also been very productive and I'm happy with how today went. And I'm just gonna finish this book now and then get some rest, because I'm super tired. It is officially midnight, and I'm on page 125 of Fantastic Beasts. Um, it's really short, and I'm reading it really fast, so I am going to finish this, like I said, and go to bed. Even though it doesn't count as finishing a book in one day, I picked it for the cover challenge, so that's okay. <laughs> that rhymed. 12.58. Finished Fantastic Beasts. It was so fun to read the screenplay and have J.K. Rowling's commentary and little scene descriptions in there. And they had some fun little drawings as well, so it was worth reading the screenplay. And now I've completed my second book for the booktube-a-thon on day four, but I want to come back. I think I'm going to come back strong and read a lot tomorrow. But right now, as you can tell, I'm exhausted and I'm going to go to bed. So, good night. Good afternoon, booktube. I slept in today and then I got ready. But now I am outside. I have always and forever Laura Jean with me and it is 1228 p.m. and 96 degrees out here. So I'm going to be reading for a little bit out here and then going inside to edit and then reading and then editing because it's way too hot to just stay out here and read the entire book. But I will do my best to read the entire thing outside, because that's the challenge I chose this one for. I don't want to stop reading. I have to come in so I can eat lunch and, like, function as a human being, but I don't, like, want to take a break to edit, because all I want to do is read this book. Oh, it's so good and so sweet and so cute, and I just, oh, it's so good. <laughs> I enjoyed the first two books. But, th oh, there's my food. Um, but the third book is just so much better and the characters are so much more mature and I just, whew, I'm enjoying it, obviously, a lot. And definitely am going to finish it today. And it's actually not too bad outside, so it hasn't been too hot in the shade. And I just, whew, I love it. I've got my no meat chicken sliders and my ketchup and I'm gonna eat these and probably some veggies and fruit and then I'll go back outside and read more. <laughs> I'm eating an actual can of green beans straight from the can with a fork. I did this a lot as a kid and it's delicious. I just love green beans. I don't know why. Does anyone else do this? I want to know. I, I really do because I love eating green beans straight from the can and I don't know if I've ever met anyone else who does that so let me know if you do. <laughs> I'm back outside now with my lovely book and I'm going to try and finish it out here. It's pretty hot but I've got cold water with ice in it and I'm reading pretty quickly so I'm just gonna try and finish it out here. It's so hot, but I gotta do 
I gotta complete the challenge. I won't back down. So, um, I'm super excited about this book, though. So, I'm going to read it now. I've been out here reading for about another hour now, and it's so hot, so I'm gonna go in for a second. But I want to keep reading, I don't want to stop, <laughs> but I have to in order to read the entire thing outside. <laughs> okay, you guys, it is 100 degrees out there, over 100 degrees right now, and I am so hot. So I came in, and I really want to keep reading, but... I still want to fulfill the challenge, so I think I'm gonna take a break. My mom is actually participating in this readathon with me, and she's just over there reading her book, and she's almost done. So after she finishes reading her book that she's currently on, then I think we're gonna go to the library, pick up more books, <laughs> and just kind of take a break and get some air conditioning. I mean, our house obviously has air conditioning as well, but it'll be fun to be able to kind of go do something and then come back and I will finish my book. Say hi, Mommy. Hi, Shani. I'm <laughs> 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 <More> reading. <laughs> Gotta finish it. <laughs> So we are on our way to the library now. We're actually going to two libraries <laughs> because we have both in town and so that will be a fun adventure and I am actually, I think, going to read my book in the library because it's outside of my house so I'm still going to count it for that challenge. I know it's a little bit of a, um, a loophole. That I'm finding here, but I, that was weird, did they just, <laughs> that was weird, anyway, <laughs> but I think that, um, it counts for me, it's just way too hot to read outside anymore, it's like over a hundred degrees, like I said, it's a hundred three degrees, and I just don't want to overheat. two hours outside, but that's all that I'm going to be reading outside. I'm just going to finish this book in the library. <laughs> hey guys, it is quite a bit later. It's 7.21 now. I just went to dinner with my family, and then I am back home now, and we're going to watch Frozen after all today. <laughs> And then I will try and finish Always and Forever Lara Jean. Where is it? I, let's see how far I am. Um, I am currently on page 185. So I've made decent progress because I started this book today. Um, but obviously, like I said, I went to the library. It's just way too hot outside to read the whole book outside. But um, it's really, really good. It keeps making me cry, and I keep getting mascara in my eyes. Um, but it's super good, and I definitely want to finish it tonight. I don't know if I'll read another book or not. My eyes are kind of hurting, but <laughs> I guess that's what comes with a readathon. But we will see how much I get done tonight. But for now, I'm going to go enjoy Frozen with my family and just relax for a minute. <sighs> I decided to take off my mascara because my eyes were really irritated and now I am watching Read by Zoe's day one and two vlog of Booktubeathon and then I'm gonna go watch Frozen with my family. I'm so excited but yeah my my eyes are crazy. <laughs> I just finished watching Frozen with my family and it was super super cute and fun. I just love Disney movies and Frozen is no exception. And so 
I really had fun doing that. I'm still on the same page of Always and Forever Lara Jean, so I will be continuing that. It's 9.30 right now, and I will try and finish tonight, but I don't think I'm going to get another book because I'm super tired, and I don't want to, <laughs> so I'm not going to because this readathon is about having fun, and... I don't think pushing myself to read another book right now would be fun, but I do want to finish this one because it's just so good and I need to finish it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get ready for bed and then finish reading it. Well, hey guys, it's Shen, and I have no idea what time it is because my clock is wrong right now. It's 10.54 p.m. And I am still at the same point in Always and Forever Lara Jean because I just took a shower and washed my face, brushed my teeth, put my retainer in, all that lovely stuff to get ready for bed. And then I watched Hannah from A Clockwork Reader's Day 4 vlog. And it was really interesting because she talked about having anxiety and having a bad day. And it was really um, honest and I loved how she approached it um in that video so that was really um nice to feel kind of comforted in knowing that i'm not alone in those struggles and all of that but now i think i am going to read i'm going to try and finish this book still today because it's super good and i want to finish it and then we'll see how much reading i get done tomorrow I haven't decided whether I'm going to this thing that my dad has. It's a really fun celebration. Um, so I'll probably end up wanting to go, but I'll definitely take a book with me and read while I'm there. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna go or not yet. And yeah, but for now, I'm just gonna sit here and read my book and then go to sleep. Oh. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I'm so much older than you, so I tell you what to do. You are so good. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, it's just past midnight. I'm on page 276 of like 325-ish. So I'm really close to the end and it's 12.01. So I'm still gonna finish this tonight, but it's not technically within the day, but I'm still, I think, gonna count it as reading a book in one day if I don't read an entire book tomorrow or Sunday, but we'll see. I probably will end up doing that, so you never know, but this book is so good. I'm a little like, ah, what's gonna happen? It's so close to the end and it's not resolved, but we'll see. It's very good, and I'm gonna finish it now and then get some sleep. <laughs> 1241, <laughs> and I finished it. Oh, clearly. I'm a mess. It was so cute. Oh, I love these books so much. I have to wait that over. <laughs> it's really late, so I'm probably more emotional than I would be if it wasn't the middle of the night, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm so happy with the ending. I promise these are happy tears. I'm just overwhelmed. And I, I guess they're a little sad because the series over. I mean, I can reread it. I don't know why I'm so attached all of a sudden, but oh, it was so cute. <laughs> wow, <laughs> why am I so teary? This makes no sense, but oh, oh, <laughs> I think I should go to bed now and turn the camera off. Also, I just want to say that I'm not sure if I'm gonna 
separate these vlogs and put them all into one video. I'll see you when I start editing. But, <laughs> I'm such a mess. Good night. <laughs>